VTRANS follows a safe roads at safe speeds policy, not a bare roads policy. And what that means is that during storm events, we'll be out plowing, sanding, and salting to keep the roads open, but that there will be snow on the roads. So we ask drivers to slow down, drive according to conditions, and be our partners in safety so that they can get where they're going. Clean up after the storm is based on four different priority levels. Interstates are our highest priority and low volume rural roads are our lowest priority. These priority levels were established based on uh, winter traffic volumes as well as functional classification of the roadway. During winter storms, our crews start at 3 a.m. to 4 a.m. and then work until 10 p.m. and then we go to a reduced staffing from the hours of 10 p.m. to either 3 or 4 a.m. We have 250 plow trucks with an extra 10% for spare. The plow trucks range from large to very large, uh, six wheelers to 10 wheelers. And then we also have some smaller pickup trucks that have plows on them to plow parking rides and U-turns. We have two tow plows in our fleet that we utilize typically on the interstates. Uh, tow plow actually extends out and allows one truck to cover both the driving lane and the passing lane at one time. The tow plow can be pulled back in so it'll allow vehicles to move around because it does create a rolling roadblock. Our crews determine what materials they use depending on temperature conditions and surface conditions. The primary material is salt. Salt is just like the normal table salt, sodium chloride, except much more coarse and less clean. We also use a salt brine, which is 90% water and 10% salt. Salt brine is used in conjunction with salt to pre-wet the salt to eliminate the scatter and bounce. When dry salt is put out, 30 to 40% is lost to the road edge or off into the ditches, and this is unacceptable. When temperatures below 20 degrees, we use an additive, which is an environmentally friendly de-icing agent which lowers the effective temperature of the salt brine. We also use sand for traction when the temperatures are too low and salt is ineffective. We're always looking for ways to do our jobs better, smarter, uh, more efficiently and more effectively. So part of um, looking for those ways to improve is monitoring how well we're doing and trying to benchmark our performance. How are the roads looking during a storm? How are the roads after the storm? Uh, those are the things that we look for now. Um, but we do have some really incredible new technology that we're very excited about. Our road weather information stations will not only measure the grip of the pavement, but will tell us the vehicle speeds of, of traffic that's passing that station. Another tool in our toolbox is AVL, or Automatic Vehicle Location Systems, uh, which we now have in almost 170 of our 250 plow trucks, and by next winter we'll have it in all of our trucks. What AVL allows us to do is monitor where the trucks are, how fast they're moving, what they're putting out for salt or sand or liquid, whether the plow is up or down, and that gives us a really good tool to monitor our performance because we'll know exactly what we did to achieve the result that we got. And by monitoring material usage, it allows us to make sure that we're complying with our plan. It allows us to evaluate um, the results we're getting based on the amount of material that's been applied. And it allows us to make sure we're being as efficient and effective as possible while still being sensitive to the environment. And we're convinced that uh, we're going to see nothing but improvements in our snow and ice control um, in the coming years. And it's going to allow us to provide a better product to our customer, the traveling public, at a better price.